okay guys so this looks weird so I'm just gonna add and fix that so I'll just remove the row and the container and of course view is not gonna let us just have components flying everywhere so we're just gonna put all of that in the div and uh, right here and I'll just go ahead and remove this ones and uh, okay my gulp is watching I hope it comes back to normal okay so it stands where it's supposed to be nice so in this video what we're gonna do is actually add a friend using our view components okay and uh, when we click on add a friend it should actually send a request to the user and add him as a friend okay so let's go ahead to our components what next are we gonna do define a method and we're just gonna say when we click on this button actually send a friend request so I click you say add friend method on this component okay so call the add friend method as soon as we click on that button so right here we'll define our methods and uh, right here we'll have the add friend method so the add friend method is simply gonna make an HTTP request to our server and add that user as a friend and that's it okay so what are we gonna do so we'll just say this dot HTTP, HTTP dot get it can be a get okay so we we'll just say add friend and uh, this is gonna be slash and here we're just gonna add the ID of that profile which we are viewing okay and this is this profile user ID okay since we can get the authenticated user from our server we can just pass this as a parameter and we're good to go just like we did right here okay so we're sending a request and we'll say that then so then when you receive a request then when you receive a, a response just console.log that response right here so console log the response you're getting okay so right here we'll just receive the response okay so we need to implement the add friend method on our server and uh, we have to define the add friend route right here so right here we'll have a method called add friend and this is gonna use the add friend method in our friendships controller and this is gonna be add friend Okay, so add a friend and then friendships controller at add friend method. So in our friendships controller, we are gonna create a new method called add friend. So right here, add friend and it receives a parameter which is the ID of the profile user. And uh, what we are just gonna do is say auth user add friend ID. Okay, and this add friend method, like we did, is in our friendable threads. And our friendable thread is already implementing all the protection. So all we just need to do is call the method. So we we'll add a friend and we pass in the ID. And the right here is returning a one if it's successful and returning a zero if it's not. So what we're gonna do in our controller is return auth user add friend ID. So it's gonna return a one to our view component if it's successful if it's gonna reach if it's failed it's gonna return a zero okay so right here actually we're gonna be sending notifications to the users or maybe emails broadcasting and we are gonna see that in a later lesson okay yeah so just to give you a heads up of what's coming that's what we're gonna be doing okay so in our friend.view components what we're gonna do is check if the response dot body is equal to one so if it was a success because remember it's returning us a one if it's successful so if it's equal to one what we're just gonna do is just change the status right here okay of that relationship and we'll change it to waiting okay because it means you just try to add this user as a friend and you're waiting for his response okay so if the status so we're just gonna say this dot status equals waiting okay so we'll change the status to waiting and uh, remember as we are making our HTTP request what we like to do is change loading to true by saying this dot loading true and as soon as our request is completed we'll just say this dot loading equals false okay so first we have an add friend method that is only uh, activated by clicking the add friend button and as soon as we click on, on that button it makes a request to our server to the add friend method 
and uh, we get the response and then we change the status and then we also change the loading status the loading state okay first let's see so let's see if that works and uh, okay it's watching so back to my browser and I inspect and uh, if I refresh okay so I can add a friend so loading and there's an error in our code so uncut in promise right here let's go to our network and right here not found HTTP exception in the routes at friend okay so the at friend route does not exist or at friend slash profile slash at friend does not exist what did I do okay so it's trying to make slash profile slash at friend I think that's because I didn't add that slash I think it should work now If I click add friend, okay, uncut in promise, response is not defined. And uh, that should be an error on my part because right here I, my response was an error, okay? And uh, we missed the moment, guys, but it's okay. If I refresh, we discover that the status now is waiting for response, meaning this user who is Emily has actually sent me a request and she's waiting for my response. So if I go ahead to my browser and I refresh, I discover that I can accept the friendship, which is not working at the moment. So it means I have a pending friend request from Emily and I can accept the friendship request that she sent to me. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to see how we can actually accept the request. So now Emily is waiting for me to accept being her friend or not.